Hey guys, welcome to Living Satisfied. On this channel, we talk about ways to live a more satisfied life. So today I wanna to talk yeah. about some gift ideas for Christmas. This is a gifts for women video, and so I'm gonna be giving you guys quite a few different gift ideas for women, along with some tips <laughs> for purchasing for women. And then we're also gonna be doing a gifts for men and a gifts for baby. Today I am actually joined with my baby as just about always, um, if you watch any of my videos, you know that Jones usually is tagging along because he's with me and I can't always film when he's napping. I will have all of the products linked down below and you can always go to livingsatisfiedfavorites.com and it just has a list of some of my favorite items, whether that's like food and kitchen items, um, books, different baby and parenting items or just miscellaneous items in general. So be sure to check that out as well. And if you are new to this channel, consider pressing the subscribe button down below. I would love to get to know you and have you embark on this journey to live a more satisfied life. Let's get started and I will say, I'm sniffly and I'm so sorry if that like really bothers you during this video, but I am sniffly, I have a cold. I've been avoiding doing this video for like two or three days because I don't feel good, but I need to get it out. So it is what it is. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is a tip for purchasing for women. Basically women tend to be a little bit more thoughtful in their purchasing than men do. Um, obviously that is kind of like a stereotype. It's not necessarily accurate for everyone, but women tend to not be very good at asking for what they really want. And so I'll give two examples. One is say a woman needs and actually like really wants a vacuum for Christmas. She wants one that like really nice like Dyson or like Shark brands. And so that's what she asked for and she's like, you know, we're short on money this year. That's what I'll ask for. It'll be really helpful like on a daily basis. It'll be great. As somebody giving her that gift, men, women, whoever you are, try to think a little bit more thoughtfully in giving that gift. So instead of just giving a vacuum, consider giving a vacuum and a cleaning service. So like a four hour cleaning service of the house so that she understands that, well, yes, you're giving her the vacuum that she asked for. You are also acknowledging the fact that it is not completely her job to do the whole house cleaning. And if you can't afford to do a house cleaning service, you could even just like send her out for a couple hours and clean the house yourself while she's gone or even if she's at the house, just try to be a little bit more mindful about cleaning up. The second example I would give is if she asks for clothes. So say she asks for like a gift card for Target or Nordstrom or somewhere like that. And so instead of just giving her like the gift card for the clothing items, give her like an experience. So give her, hey, I got you this gift card that you requested but I would really love if you went out, if you went out with your friends and went shopping together, or let me watch the kids for a few hours while you go out by yourself and shop. So give her something more than just the gift card. So that is my biggest tip when you're giving gifts to women and honestly to men as well. So if, I feel like men tend to be like, not necessarily as gift oriented. So say you gave, I don't know, your husband a new lawnmower, offer to mow the lawn for him once, I don't know, something like that. And so just try to be, expand on your gifts a little bit. So one of the best options to give a woman is a pamper gift. And I feel like this is probably the most obvious one, which is why I'm picking it first. So you can always give them like a gift card to a spa or a massage or facial, but if you don't wanna go that route, you can also give them an in-home spa. So you can give them like a gift basket of goodies to have an in-home spa and to do that you can also along the same lines of my first tip say hey honey or girlfriend or whomever let me either allow the house to be really quiet or if you want me to join you i can watch a movie with you while you take a bath and or really just something like that or maybe you can invite some girlfriends over and pamper yourselves the options are endless um, or maybe you could just like bake her cookies or brownies while she is pampering herself. So I put down in the description a like whole set of links that you could build your own basket of spa items. So if you're just like, I don't even know where to begin, that sounds like a really good gift. 
look down in the description below. Um, some of these things, let's see here. Bath bombs, Epsom salts, nail polish, like a foot scrubber, a mask. Um, candles, all those kind of things that a woman might want during a pamper session. And so those are linked down in the description below. My next gift option is books. So books are a really great thing, especially during the holiday season. I feel like people tend to read more books either like during the holidays or during like summer vacation. Those are kind of like the times that people read the most. But especially with the new year coming, um, a lot of people like to read like self-help books or just something to inspire them. So I have a couple of books linked down below that I like, and then along with some other books that I haven't personally read, but that are really highly rated and that have been recommended to me by friends. person would rather read on like their tablet or their Kindle, you can link down in the description below. I'll have a link for where to purchase like a gift card for like the Kindle store that they can pick out whatever books that they would want. The next thing that I would recommend is subscription boxes. These are the gifts that just keep giving. A lot of them you can actually set up to deliver for like a certain amount of time you can pay a certain amount or you can even just give them a gift card to a service but I find that the best thing to do is actually sign them up so you can sign them up for the service type in their name their address everything like that and then you can like send it to your billing address so like you can all your all the payment information so like that goes to you so that they're not seeing that side of it and then you can cancel the subscription when you want to end it I will say with subscription boxes, you do have to be careful because they do auto draft. And so make sure that you are doing it up to a certain time and you have, I don't know, like a reminder or something like that on your computer or phone to remind you to cut off that subscription whenever you want to cut it off. I actually did this to my mother for, I think Mother's Day, I did a graze box. So for like a period of a couple, like, I think like three months. Like that, I was, a graze box would be sent to her and I just canceled it at a certain point and that was my gift. There's so many great subscription boxes out there. You really can find one for anyone. And so I will link a couple of them down below. Uh, Buzzfeed actually has like a list of I think like 20 best subscription boxes. So I'll link that down below as well. So as I mentioned in the tips section, a shopping spree would be a really great gift for a woman. You can get her a gift card and then you can like get her maybe a gift card for their favorite like brunch place or their favorite juice bar or coffee shop and have it just to be an experience with their friends. Maybe even you can go with them. It just kind of depends on what gender or person is set to giving this gift to the woman. But I think it'd be really fun personally to like get a gift card to say even somewhere cheap like Target and then get like a Starbucks card and like a Panera gift card and then I can go out with some friends or even by myself, which honestly with a baby, I probably just want to have some time by myself. And I can just go and grab lunch and I can grab a drink and I can just go and shop and get a couple fun things for myself. The last item that I have for you guys is just some random bits. Uh, so there's la 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 la. So there's some fun things like table topics. These are like little cards that you can leave on your table. And they're like little questions that you can grab when you have like family or uh, like guests over. They have all of these different types of topics that you can talk about, um, whether it's family gatherings, dinner parties, um, there's ones with kids, there's travel ones. So like you can like put them in your purse and when you're out and about, you can talk with people about them. Uh, some of the other things that you can give that are really easy are like journals or stationery. I have a couple of those linked down below as well. My very last option is to give an acts of service. This is actually something that my husband and I do with each other, especially when finances are a little bit tight. And we know that we're getting gifts from, you know, my parents or his parents or like just with different family members for like birthdays or different holidays. So something that we like to do for each other is to give <laughs> is to give acts of service and so for example for his birthday i made him homemade pizza from scratch like the dough was from scratch homemade cinnamon rolls from scratch and then i did i mowed the lawn for him and i got his oil changed and so they really showed that i cared about him and i did him uh spontaneously without telling him so like he came home from work one day and the lawn was mowed uh he came home from work and his oil was changed or I mean the cinnamon rolls and pizza he knew about because they were rising on the countertop. But 
that's a really good thing to do, um, especially if you, especially if your uh, person that you're giving gifts to is not like as gift oriented, but would rather to, like go grab a meal with you or go to a concert or have you do some act of service. I think Jay, for my birthday this year, cleaned the house. So he spent like four or five hours deep cleaning the whole house for me while I was out. And it was so stress relieving and it was just a really sweet gift that he did for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed these tips. Let me know in the comments down below some of your favorite gift ideas. I would love to hear about yours and maybe I can get some ideas for my family and friends and loved ones in general. So once again, press the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more things like this and I will see you guys next time. And Follow me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter. I don't use Twitter as much, but I'm still there. I'm trying to get better about Twitter. I still don't fully understand it. But follow me on Instagram for sure, and I will see you guys later. Say bye. Say bye. Not so sure. Oh my gosh, serious? Every time. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> my nose.